The client got a new job. He's asked to install the four access points in the park to provide the Wi-Fi coverage. This is the layout of the park. In this location, he got the power and the data. He cannot use the power in this lighting post directory. He needs to send the power and data from this location. There are the four locations you need to set up the access point. First location, second location, third location, and four locations. He got two options. He can either use the five optic cable or cat 6 ethernet cable to connect all these access points. Since the distance is not so far, it's about 250 meters between the last access point and the first access point. And the power source is uh, not available in these three locations. It's better to use the CAT6 Ethernet cable to connect all these access points, since we can use the PoE power over Ethernet. All right, now let's move to the demonstration point and see how we can use one CAT6 Ethernet cable to connect all these access points. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. You will receive the notification once we release the new video. Now let's get started. Let's assume this is the first location. We have the power and the data. And we need one device called outdoor PoE switch. This is the A port outdoor PoE switch. It supports PoE++ and the single port can output 90 watt maximum power budget. We are going to connect the 5 cat 6 Ethernet cable to one of these PoE ports. And it has four SRP slot which can work with the fiber optic cable but in our case we are not going to use the fiber optic cable right okay first let me attach this outdoor PoE switch to the wall and connect this cable to our AC outlet. From here we got a PoE port. We are going to use one of the PoE ports to connect the first access point to provide the Wi-Fi coverage in this location. This is our first access point. Let's attach this access point to the wall. And we need a short patch code to link the PoE port of this access point to one of the PoE ports on our outdoor PoE switch. Now the indicators on. This is access points getting the power. We still need to do one thing is connect the incoming data to this outdoor PoE switch so we can have this Ethernet port to distribute the network to different locations. This is the cable going to the second location. Let's connect this cable to one of the PoE ports. The setup is done in the first location. We got the incoming data to this outdoor PoE switch and connect one of the PoE port to this access point to provide the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi coverage for the first location. Then we connect another cable to the second location to distribute the network. All right, let's move to the second location. This is the second location. We have the Ethernet cable coming from the outdoor PoE switch. It's 100 meters. Remember we mentioned the maximum power output from the single port on this outdoor PoE switch is 90 watt. According to the PoE++ standard, we still have the 17 watt 
at the end of th this cable is still the high power PoE. We need another device called PoE Standard. This is the one input to output PoE Standard. We're going to connect this input port to the cable from this outdoor PoE switch and use one of the output to work with the access port on the second location and connect another output to the cable going to the first location. Right first, let me attach this outdoor PoE standard to the wall and remove this cap. Okay, we need to connect cable to this input port. We have the indicators on, so this PoE standard has the PoE from this outdoor PoE switch. This is the second access point. Let's attach this access point to the wall and connect to one of the output port. Let's wait for a while. As the indicators on, this PoE standard is providing the power to this second access point. And this is the cable going to the third location. Let's connect to another PoE port. The indicator is not on yet since there's still no device at the end of this cable. All right, now let's move to the third location. This is the third location. We have another 100 meter Ethernet cable coming from the PoE stand at the second location. This is the end of the cable. We need another PoE standard. This is also the one input to output PoE standard, which is exactly the same as the unit we use on the second location. Now let's connect the cable to the input port of this PoE standard. The indicator is on. This PoE standard has the PoE power from the first PoE standard. We got two PoE ports. We are going to use one of the PoE ports for the access port on the third location. Let's attach this access point to the wall. and use a short patch code to link the PoE port to this PoE standard. Let's wait for a while. The indi indicators aren't, so this PoE stand access point is getting the power from this PoE standard. Now we are not going to add extra PoE standard to the system since we do have one PoE port left which can work with the last access point at the four locations. Let's get the last access point. I'm going to use this short patch code to link the last access point to this PoE standard. The maximum distance between this last access point to the PoE standard is another 100 meters. Now the indicator is on, which means this access point is having the power from this PoE standard. All right, that's all the setup. Let's review what we have done. We set up the 90 watt high power outdoor PoE switch at the first location and use this outdoor PoE switch to power the first access point and connect the cable from the second location to this outdoor PoE switch to distribute the outdoor PoE network. And the second location, we have the one input, two, power, two output PoE standard, one of the ports working with the access point in the second location, and connect the second 100 meter Ethernet cable to the third location. We also have one input, two output PoE standard at the third location. And from here, we got two outputs, one for the access point and the third location, and another output for the access point in the four location. The one important thing we have pointed out is the 90 watt high power output. Since we are distributing the PoE from the first location, we do need the PoE++ plus plus to output the 90 watt PoE, so we can have all this device with enough power budget. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post your message in the comment section below.